and welcome to Connect. I'm your host, Randy Shabilo. On today's show, we have Staff Sergeant Grant Obst with the Saskatoon Police Service talking about patrol. And as always, we'd like to connect with you. Tweet us at Shaw TV Saskatoon. Find us on Facebook or email ShawTVConnect at Shaw.ca. You can also watch previous interviews on Shaw TV's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Shaw TV Saskatoon. The Saskatoon Police Service has seen uh, many members of the uh, service come and go over the years, but uh, one familiar face for a lot of us is uh, Staff Sergeant Grant Obst. I've asked uh, Staff Sergeant Obst to come today, give us a little bit of insight into uh, patrol. There's always a lot of questions about what happens out there in the real world of policing. Uh, so, Staff Sergeant Ops, thank you for making time for us today. Well, thank you for that introduction. Makes me feel a little long in the tooth. Yeah, but. You've uh, you've been with the service for how long now? Actually, I've actually been with Saskatoon since 1988. Uh, I started my policing career back in 1983 in a small city in southeast Saskatchewan called Estevan. I was with the Estevan Police Service for oh, five and a half years, and then came to Saskatoon in October of '88. So, 20, 28 years now. Uh, we're quite familiar with you, a lot of us, uh, in our roles with the city, and, and uh, there's always conversations that come up about patrol and, and uh, you know, maybe some glamorization of the role of uh, policing in movies and things of that nature. Uh, but in terms of policing and patrol in Saskatoon, maybe take us through, uh, we have some new recruits that were uh, just admitted to the service. What, what are they doing and what can they expect when they come out? Well, patrol, um, I guess if you look at any police service, and services differ a little bit from service to service, but generally speaking, uh, a police service is divided into a number of different divisions, sections, and units. And I think, you know, everybody has a basic understanding of the fact that there's the major crime unit, there's the break and enter unit, there's the vice unit, there's the drug unit. But patrol is the uniform component. They're the, the men and women that are out there 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. They, they're in the uniform. They drive the marked cars for the most part. Uh, they work the shift work. And patrol within the Saskatoon Police Service is the largest, the largest uh, section of the police service. There's four platoons that police the city on a 24-hour basis. So each platoon consists of about 45 constables. There's a, a number of special constables that man our uh, communication center. And we have a civilian component that is also attached to the platoon that provide clerical data entry uh, and all kinds of other things that, that go with the whole police function. Every member of the police service starts their career in patrol. So as a recruit, you're sent down to the Saskatchewan Police College. All municipal police officers are trained at the Saskatchewan Police College, which is at the University of Regina, in Regina. You spend about four months down there. I'd call that the theory. That's the, the book work. That's the learning the law, psychology, how to deal with people, um, everything that has to do with the paper flow. And then you come back and do what I'll call the practical component, where you would do a minimum of six months alongside a specially trained field training officer with the platoon. So you're working the shift, but you're working uh, with a senior officer for that six months, being evaluated on a continual basis. And having passed all that, you're now able to fly solo. So the men and women that you see out there um, in those marked cars, that's patrol. Patrol is often referred to as the cornerstone or the foundation of the police service. Uh, your time in patrol as a police officer is going to provide you with that, that experience in, uh, first of all, call response. That, that is the primary function of patrol, is that when someone calls the police, patrols who comes, uh, whether it's day or night. That's the uniform member that's coming. So your, your call response, your uh, basic investigation techniques, your uh, you're, you're learning to figure out what's important as far as evidence, what needs to be preserved, that kind of thing. How to deal with people, um, emergencies, taking control, being a leader, all those kinds of skills, all that knowledge is, is uh, cultivated, garnered while you're in patrol. And every police officer can probably bank on doing five to seven years in patrol before they go into any other section of the police service. Uh, I can think of several that have spent their entire career in patrol. 
Uh, I've spent the bulk of my career in patrol. I'm lucky to be back there again. I've been back for five years after about a 12 or 13 year hiatus. But, uh, but generally, people will, they'll, uh, everyone starts in patrol, then they'll go off to the different sections, the detective and investigative sections. They'll do time there, and often many come back, maybe as a constable, maybe as a supervisor. Um, when you were that little guy thinking about what do I want to do when I grow up, and you, you decide I want to be a police officer, it's usually patrol that you're thinking about. That's uh, uh, not too many guys, little, you know, when you go to schools to talk with young people, they don't usually say, well, I want to be a B&E investigator. Although now they're starting to say they want to be a, a forensic identification as a result of TV. But most people, when they're considering policing, are thinking along the lines of patrol. And I think that's why it's kind of the foundation or the, or the cornerstone of your career when you, when you get into the industry. I think that's uh, important to touch on. Uh, as a child growing up in the city, and, and we had uh, both school patrols and uh, school liaison officers, and it, it kind of plants the seed for a lot of uh, kids to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with a lot of you, uh, and, and to not see the uniform as a barrier, but an invitation to, to see the person behind the badge type of thing. Uh, when, when we look at someone who's getting into that uniform and, and taken the training, uh, are there, uh, are there things that they would need to know before getting into the police service that would help them guide them? Thinking of recruitment right now, uh, are, are there some things that would maybe flag uh, maybe some of the people watching that they might hone their skills or if they're thinking that they may want to be an officer that right. would be interesting to, to pay attention to? Um, you alluded to the, the glamour or the, the TV uh, aspect of policing. Uh, if that's why you're coming down to the recruiting office, because you think that's what it's all about, you best turn around and maybe find a different line. Um, uh, most of our recruits that come in the door nowadays are very well informed. And then, let's face it, we're, uh, we're an age of technology, an age of information. You can, uh, you can go on the internet. The, every police service, uh, uh, I think in Saskatchewan, probably in North America, has a website. And if you go to the Saskatoon Police Service website, there is a huge component of it geared towards recruiting. All the information on uh, what is policing, what can you expect as a police officer, what's shift work like, what's the pay like, what are the benefits like, what sort of, uh, what sort of effect does shift work have on you as a person, what sort of effect does it have on your family, how many Christmases can you expect to miss, how many birthdays can you expect miss all that kind of stuff uh, is talked about um, the police service also does information sessions uh, I think once every couple months and again they're posted on the website but anybody interested in getting into policing it would be well served to come down to one they're held at headquarters and they spend a couple of hours uh, talking to experienced officers and recruiters uh, that will, will lay it out for you what what are the expectations um, Policing uh, is, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word glam glamour at all, although having done it for 33 years now, I don't think I would do it different if I had another chance. So I, uh, I still uh, chat with my colleagues on a daily basis and talk about how fortunate we are to get into this line of work. It is, it's not like anything else. Uh, I don't know that I would do well on uh, Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, sitting at a desk. That's not my aptitude, and that's probably not what we're looking for when, when, when that recruit comes through the door. So um, you need to do your background, you need to do your research, you need to know what you're getting into. The other thing is, too, there's a lot of programs out there now that prepare people for policing. I know Lethbridge... Uh, Lethbridge College, I, just, I think it's called Lethbridge College, has a very well-known... Uh, I think it's a two-year diploma program on criminal justice, and it, it is recognized by a number of police services in Canada as a very good foundation uh, if you're considering policing. Um, you would still have to go to the Saskatchewan Police College if you were hired in Saskatchewan, but uh, you would be looked very favorably upon if you were to come in with that two-year diploma. So kids, kids that are thinking about it, that's, that's something to look at. Post-secondary education in any case is always a plus. Somebody that's got, got the wherewithal to, uh, to go to school after the fact and, and learn a little bit about life. Life experience, too, is another thing. Um, uh, gone are the days when you're hiring the 19 and 20-year-old. Well, I mean, not entirely, but generally, I think if you were to look at the average age of a recruit coming into the Saskatoon Police Service now, it would likely be in the 
mid-20s. And that's because we're looking for people that have some experience, uh, have been out there, have, uh, have developed that leadership ability that needs to be there, and, uh, and are, are ready to, to make that step and to be a leader in the community, which is what's expected of you when you put this uniform on. Right. We're going to take a short break, and uh, we'll be back uh, talking with Staff Sergeant Grant Ops from the Saskatoon Police Service. We'll be right back.